It's always a sinner advising another. This is why Ibn al-Qayyim says, from the conditions of you taking away maximum benefit, when someone is advising you, that you overlook his mistakes. You overlook his shortcomings. Sometimes what happens, somebody comes to you and advises you, right? And your memory takes you to all the negative things that you saw about him previously. He's telling you now, this is something you shouldn't be doing. But you're thinking to yourself, Akhi, this guy, he smokes, he does this and he does that and he does whatever. Sometimes a smoker advises someone who he's seen smoking and he says to him, listen brother, this is not good for you. And you're looking at him. You want to tell me, and you're smoking, you're killing yourself, and you want to tell me what is right? Right? You will never be able to benefit from anyone, right? Until you overlook their mistakes. Take that which he's saying from the benefits and overlook his own mistakes. Only then you will be able to take away optimum and maximum reward. If we said that the only person who advises is the one who doesn't have any mistakes, who would be the only person that can advise? Prophet Sallallahu But as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi told us, right, relating this information from Allah Azza wa Jal, Right, indeed you make mistakes day and night, and I forgive all of sins. Right, also the hadith, Kullu bani Adam Every son of Adam is someone, not just him making a mistake or two, but he makes mistakes all the time. But the best of those who always make mistakes and consistently fall into that which is wrong are those who repent back to Allah Azza wa Jal and continue to keep repenting back to Him.